Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of Padge Plays Yolo Edition with the game Monster Slayers. We are on to class three of six. Today we will be playing with the knight, the big shielded bastard. I'm sure we're going to go on absolutely fine. My only problem with the knight is that although shielding is paramount with him, being a knight he doesn't have the best offensive cards so i have played a little bit in between the last episode and this episode and i have got an extra flame point which i've put into the knight class which turns one of its normal attack cards to a defense card which acts as both a defense and a card draw card but i'm jumping ahead of ourselves. let's crack straight on as far as the last playthrough is concerned with the rogue it was good it was good. We could have probably carried on. It would have been close with the werewolf. I'm I'm not too sure about that. My, my biggest problem with this game are the enemies which have healing spells and regenerative abilities because you have to hit them really hard and continue to hit them really hard, which means you need a, a very precise deck in order to do that. And uh, although I'm getting better at it, it's something which I do still struggle with. But hey-ho, that was last time. This is this time. Let's crack on. Oh... Oh, he looks a bit like that Irish wrestler. I forget his name now. Yeah, he was in, he didn't he play like Bebop in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 or something? Hey ho. Seamus, that's his name. <laughs> Seamus. But hey ho. We're gonna we're gonna randomize, so today we're gonna be playing with Blood Flame. Yeah, not really much more to say about than that. As the Empire expanded, settlements sprang up along its edges, populated by the desperate and the brave. These settlers rely on the Monster Slayer's Guild for protection from the many horrors on the borders of the Empire. Your quest is simple enough, but easier said than done. Slay three legendary monsters and return as a true Monster Slayer. So as you can see, I've had, I've had a couple of games since the last time. And, uh, oh, I'm down to 12,500. If I can beat, or beat, not even, it's not beating, is it? Reach the 10,000 player mark before we finish this playthrough, I'll be happy. I will be happy, but let's have a quick look. As far as inventory is concerned, I have got a few extra things since the last time. I'm going to you straight away. Don't need you, sir. Uh, there's a, a, a new weapon I like playing with. Where are you? Was it that one? Yes, it was this one. It's the, uh, the Crackling Hammer of Malignity, which has lightning damage per attack and it has a Venom Strike, which is a quite a powerful poison card. So we shall pop you in uh, as far as armor is concerned i did pick this up which is hp from, uh, from potion drop and armor against melee but i'm still i still keep coming back to this I, d I don't know why one damage per melee blocked i suppose that would be really useful thinking about it with this one because if we are having a lot of blocking cards then obviously the damage will go up so on you go um we're also wearing still the the rust king cloak simply for that ap uh, it's good to have that extra ap at the start of the game and I think the last time it was the belt I went for. Which gives you the dodge and the retaliate. Plus two gold per battle. Which is pretty funky. So we'll pop you one. Uh, the other thing was that. Physical damage versus undead. And a card choice on level up. That's what made me interested on that one. The card choice. But yes. I think we will stick to the cloak. Wrong slot. <gasps> what was I wearing then? Oh, maybe it was the parrying amulet I wore. Oh, no, that was it. In my playthrough off-camera, I wore the Rust King Cloak to start. I then got this given to me, and I, I just popped it over onto this because of the, the blocked uh, stat. That was what I meant to say. But hey-ho. Can I not put you where I want? There we go. Let's line up these legendaries. That'll do. As far as cards are concerned... I had, I've had i got an extra defend this time, which seems to have taken off one of the basic, basic three attack cards, which is good. But as you can see, you get a hell of a loss of normal or standard attack cards. I spent most of my time going to the uh, merchants and the healers and deleting cards just to get rid of these. I had a very good sapping uh, set up on the, on the last playthrough, so hopefully I can reenact that for you guys. But yes, let's crack on. We are looking at the Crystal Caverns, Cave Trolls and Frost Dragons, oh my, or the Cyclopes and Bandit Leaders of the Elderberry Forest. Let's try the Crystal Caverns. I don't think I've been there yet, he says. We'll see, I guess. 
They will feel my fury. Oh yeah, with your helmet. Let's do this. All right, so, 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 who are we gonna have? We've got this guy who's got a card draw, one card, and three APs. Actually, that is pretty useful. The last time I had the bard, I believe it was two cards. Uh, then we have cancel next two enemy cards for the monk. No, I'm gonna go with the bard. Nice. Oh, straight on to a merchant. Uh, I'm going to hit the merchant at the end. No need to go to him just yet. We don't have any manners. Uh, he can heal and make use of powerful support cards, can this cleric? As far as our cards are concerned, they are alright. Or are they? No, they'll do. They'll be fine. He can't have much help. 18. I said defend. Pull you out. Get the poison on him. Attack for four. And the poison should kill him. No? Poison damage each time a card is, is played. Oh, okay. My bad. Uh, well, enjoy that then. That was a card being played, damn it. Up. Wow. Anything to hit them at all, that'll do. I hope is all right. Five XP, nine gold. Oh, we've got an altar now as well. This is a very good start. Feeling very fortunate. You find an ancient carved stone altar covered in the runes that say, The Harbinger does not fear the poison. You run your fingers through the rune and the stone crackles with power. You may investigate the altar to see what blessing it offers. The stone altar hums with power. If you claim its gift, you gain a random elemental resistance, taking half damage from that element. All enemies gain two retaliate one cards that cancel and, and counter your attack cards. That's rubbish. That is rubbish. No, no, thank you, sir. I guess we'll take on a spider to rectify that. That's and terrible. One element. If it's all elements, then fair enough. Retaliate cards are really strong. That's 10 health you're going to lose straight away off two retaliate cards. All right. So what are we doing here? We're going to mulligan, I think. Yeah. Marginally better. Ha ha. Oh, yeah, to concentrate. Right. So let's Venom Strike. Defend. And that should kill him. Noise. Oh, and we leveled up. So. Ooh. Defend three. That is awesome. I'd also like to upgrade a card, but that's too good to turn down. That's two upgrades. So, yeah, we'll take you. Let's do this. You encounter a skeleton warrior. These guys are weak, but they sometimes get lucky. <sighs> right, someone mulligan. I'll do so. Three AP. So attack for one. Let's draw a card. Well, There's a little bit of a kill, but hey ho. Perfect. Perfecto. And uh, let's visit the captain before we get to the treasure. I think. Hello. Hello. You may train with her to gain action points or upgrade your cards or upgrade a card. And what shall we upgrade? We need some heavy hitting cards, that's for sure. So let's upgrade an attack two to an attack three. And move on to the Vampire Bax. It's only level one, which means it should take a good quick whack and be dead. With that being said, that's uh, 15, so that's 7, 10, plus a crit. We might be able to kill it on the first go. Yeah, we will. Boom. And while well, we're in the corner, we might as well carry on with the cave beetle. No problem. No problem. This hard shell grants it resistance to physical attacks. Well, good to note. We'll start on that. Defend. Now that works out well. Two retaliates. Come on now. Come in for the hit. Nice. So let's draw two cards. Got two attacks. One improvise. Let's block on that. And next round should be dead. Uh, 
Just one per damage blocks. See, my only problem with this game is the the information moves so quickly, it's hard to see what actually is going on on the enemy's turn. It's very hard to gauge it. Uh, 11. Let's pull out the mana. And draw a card. So if we do... Three action points. Use a defend. Use the dodge. Use the attack. Why not? So 15, if it hits me, it should die, technically. No, why did it not die? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. You're deed now. Oh, then again, it's got half health on physical damage. That could be why it got offset. What do we want? Dissipate 2. What in your hand? Cancel the next magic card played by the enemy and deal 12 physical damage. That's pretty strong. Or we have Pummel, which is deal 4 physical damage to your enemy and discard a random card from the enemy's hand. Which can't be upgraded. I'm going to go for Dissipate, I think. And do we take on the side? No, let's do the treasure next. Why not? Alright, so gain a card. What can we do? Uh, I'm not fussed about mana. We've got quite a few defense. We'd have to just turn down a Pummel. It's always good to keep the enemy's card count down, though. I've got, I feel like I've got plenty of defense now, so let's get rid of the problem. And on to O Capitan. Um, we can upgrade or AP plus one. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade. Uh, mm, what's that? 10 physical damage as a crit? Right, let's go for number 10 hit, I think. Oh, and a campfire. Well, we might get healed off that, so let's take on the siren first. Let's do this. Steel cards right out of your hand, so retaliate is probably not the best to have. That'll work. So we'll do you for you. You for uh, you. And then draw a card. Hmm. So it's something a little bit juicier than that. Don't steal my card. Awesome. 12, 4. Boom. Steal card. No, 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 sir. I mean, madam. Not today. <laughs> Not today. Let's do this. Oh, it's a trap. It's a trap. Um, that is all right for a start, I guess. So, what are you doing? Fawns. Fawns aren't good. So, let us... Pure, do I want to do pure damage here? I don't think there's much point there. Let's draw a card. Two defense. Draw you first. Draw you. Let's put the block up. This guy's going to hit pretty hard, I feel. So our shield's okay. Well, we might as well throw down dissipate. It's obviously into it. My bad. Just the two hits then. Boom. Uh, ha ha. Ooh, hunk of meat. Recover 15 HP, then delete this card and draw a card. No, we'll delete a card and we'll get rid of one of the basics. Cool. Uh, onto a healer. I don't think we're going to need the healer on this run. So let's go to the healer and delete another card. And get rid of another basic one. Nice. Uh, top health. Let's do go for the trap again. Let's do this. Not a bad start. We've got a little bit of AP free, so we'll start. Uh, put the dodge on so we shouldn't get hit as hard. Two defense up. And we'll pummel and attack, I think. So we can afford to use everything. Let's do defend first and see what comes up. Oh, something I can't use anyway. Boom. Uh, I mean, we have to go to the campfire if we want to see what's in the top right hand corner. So 
give it a look see so we'll camp Start. go oh an action point awesome one more mana yeah one more oh another xp uh, another hp that'll do that's nice it's very nice four ap that, that's going to help a lot storm hair what do you have uh, so we can say Call Raven or 10 XP. 10 XP is not a lot, really, is it? Call Raven. Send a Raven to peck the enemy's eyes. Deal 10 physical damage plus 1 physical dam for, damage for each card in both discard piles. It's pretty powerful. Why not? No problem. So you encounter a blob of slime. Or mulligan. So hit him for all he's got. Uh, do I want 4 APs? No, we'll draw two cards. So, defend. The next round is not going to be nice for you, Mr. Slimy. Boo. Where's the magic card when you need it? Right, so let us attack for four. Throw a magic card down. Come on, throw a magic card down. Alright, overkill you. The thrill of the hunt was worth the price. Indeed. And uh, let's go on to the... Hmm, we'll go on to the Undead Knight. Let's see how they handle my blade. He can counter magical spells and is great at defense. Knight versus knight. And what do we have? Let's run again. Yeah, that'll do. So we're going in hard. So attack, attack, defend. So, three, five, that's 15. So, if I defend, defend, yeah. attack there, and then raven it, that means we should get five points. So, 15 points. So, that should go down to 32 if my adding up of this is correct. Yeah. I know how the card works. Two shields, that's not too bad. Let's charge up first. Uh, defend. And we've got to retaliate. Two APs left. We might as well power strike. Nice. Yeah, nothing too upsetting there. We we'll just get it off rather quickly, I feel. And we leveled up. And our hand size is increased. Nice. Let's see how they handle my blade. All right, so we've got a fairly basic warrior to finish on. It's nothing to worry about. Perfect. Perfecto. And uh, onto the frost dragon, methinks. Level five. We should be okay. He's an blade. ugly mother. You stumble across the lair of a frost dragon. Your hand size is reduced by one for this battle. Ah. Alright, well, uh, I'm not really too fussed about Call Raven or Pummel, so we'll get rid of those. Not bad. So let's defend. What do we get? Concentrate. Let's put poison on him and attack him. Ready, what do we blade. do here? We've got three APs left. We might as well draw a card. Ready, my blade. Worth doing. Yeah. So nothing major there. Core Raven is worth 19 right now. So, let's do it all. Did he just dodge that? Mana charge. With Ice Bolt. Ooh. Naughty. All right, so you, three left. Uh, let's put the action points up and then draw two cards. We see them as hard as we can, I guess. All very basic, nothing to worry about. Uh, so let's defend. Dodge. Hmm. If I attack and then improvise for block, it's going to be more than actually hitting him. 22. Yeah. Nice. Greater power. So we've leveled up. What do we want? What's a magic shield? 
gain a magical shield that blocks the next 20 damage taken. Wowza. No, we're good. Um, max HP. Five max HP. It's not a lot, really, is it? I think dissipate. Having two dissipate cards is probably the best. We'll go for that. And on to the merchant. We've got a bit of moolah. So what do you have? We have a rare weapon. Physical damage versus humans. Poison damage per attack. Five max HP. That isn't bad for that price. What else have we got? Iron Fang Robes. Armor versus missiles. Starting AP. Damage on melee hit. Uh, potion drop chance. Starting mana. Temp card. Dexterity. I think I'd prefer the Rockman a Hammer. It's got poison damage. Uh, it's either that or fine coins. Gain two to six gold badge the card. Draw a card if discarded manually. And it's upgradable. It's only ten gold. I have you. Let's go back and delete and upgrade a card. So we'll get rid of another basic one. And let's upgrade a card. So if we upgrade that, what do we get? 5 to 9 gold? 12 physical damage, which we've done already. Or we could upgrade another basic one. I think it's probably best to do Power Strike at this point. We get a crit on it. Yeah, we'll do you. And what else? Oh, 80. Do you want to delete another basic card? Guess I do. Let's go to the last low basic card keep that down and uh, i think we're done here i think we're done Victory. nice and we leveled up level up level up so we've last time got the defense boost which was awesome what else do we get offered to, on the uh, on the knife replace an attack one card with a raw we'll place an attack one card with a body slam the thing is, my next playthrough is actually going to be with the Cleric. So I'm wondering if it's worth putting a fame point into the Cleric. So replace an attack one card with a heal two. Or replace an improvised card with a repent one. Gain mana and deal damage over time. Or spend mana to recover HP. Hmm. I think we'll go with healer. Nice. Alright, so what did we get new there? We got a Cursed Hammer of the Hurricane, Poison Damage Per Attack, and a Temper Thunderstorm. So we give up our Venom Strike card, but we do get a Thunder, sorry, Thunder Slam card, not Thunderstorm. Damage is the same other than that. Although Poison Damage is every time you attack with it. I think we're going to swap you out. What else do we get? Uh, physical damage versus large poison damage per attack yeah. restoring glove 12% potion chance not bothered by you or poison damage per attack and temp dexterity ooh thunder slam hits quite hard I think I'm going to stick with you you've got more damage as well yeah you'll do you'll do uh, now we're on to the forbidden desert or the tomb of the ancients Hmm. Well, because we didn't finish very well last time in the Tomb of the Ancients, I think I need to... What do I want to go against the Mama Orc? No. We're going to go try and take our revenge on a werewolf, I feel. They will feel my fury. So, companion number two. Let's do this. Who will you be? Oh, we have a warrior. Gain 15 block. Nice. Or we have gain physical resist for once, turn, two battles, three battles. Oh, Lord. We do get the damage off the block, though, so it's probably worth going for the warrior. Okie dokie. So we've got a uh, level six and dead rogue. Why not? Let's Why not? Do this. Defense is all right. Yeah, let's start with that. So let's throw the defense out. So if we do an improvise for free AP, we can then use both. Cool. Throw a magic out there. Throw a magic out there. Bastard. 
Ah, oh, there we go. Ha ha! Concentrate on you, sir. So what's that? 27. We'll pummel. We'll draw a card. Oh, we'll raven him. We'll raven him to death. Nice. Oh, uh, straight on to the captain, I guess. And we shall upgrade a card. Right, let's upgrade because this is only two points of damage, isn't it? It goes to eight on defend two, which is pretty powerful in itself. So we'll do that. And then go on to probably the skeleton. That's the most basic. Let's do this. Uh, weak, but sometimes get lucky. Uh, two thunder slams and an attack. Why not? Oh, that is like the, the best counter-offensive ever. Throw some magic out there. No? All right, okay. Uh, well, we'll dodge. And just hit him in the face constantly. Magic! Magic! No, he's all about the physicals. Uh, so, fine coins, I guess. Six gold. Boom. This isn't a good start. Uh, I'm a little worried. We just need a card. Any card. There we go. Deeper knowledge. Greater power. Oh, we leveled up. Thank God for that. Wow. Invincibility. Invulnerable to damage for one turn. Delete this card. Draw a card if this is money discarded. Wow. I've never seen that before. Uh, body slam. Deal physical damage equal to 20% of your current HP. Or we can upgrade a card. Or upgrade a card. Uh, what are you up to? 15 physical damage to the enemy. And a guaranteed crit. Uh, let's upgrade another defense for the time being. And the lowest thing we have is a Medusa. That can't be good. Let's do this. Beware its gaze, which can turn even your best cards into stone. Great. Uh, that's not a bad hand, though. So let's uh, defend. Charge up for the AP. Hit them hard. Yep. Put out another card, maybe? Yeah, another card, why not? Defend, and that'll do, I guess. Right, so one of my cards has been turned to stone. Nice. Well, we might as well play that, doesn't cost us anything. Uh, we can now. Well, just pummel on attack, there's not a lot else we can do. We could always throw up our block, but I feel there's no need at the moment. So we might as well find some coins. Three. It'll do. Uh, Thunder Slam. Improvise for block. Which will help with our physical defense and knock a little bit more health off her. Get into the stone again. So we'll dodge. Boom. I do like that Raven card. I've got a random item as well. Common. Common. So, Tigress or Undead Knights. Uh, we're doing alright against the Knights, so let's uh, continue that. Let's do this. Uh, I like the fact we've got the fine coins early, but I think I will mulligan those. Oh, we've still got the Raven and the fine coins. Alright, well, you and you then. So we're just going to hit him for 25 here, aren't we? Yeah. No, we're not going to hit for 25 because that's a defense card. Uh, we could block a little more. Get some more cards in the discard pile, which would be nice. Make that Raven worth even more next round. 23. Not too shabby for me. Physically immune. Bastard. Uh, 
Right, so that's gone now. Noted. Right, so let's do... Two APs left. Four APs in the card. Charging up. Uh, let's use these before we run out. Mana. What 24 heal it, uh, heals? Shields, should I say. Uh, draw one card, and that will leave us one AP. There's a possibility we're going to get a 10 hitter. All two dissipates. Blood thirsty. What are you? Seven physical damage and two cards. Oh, I like that. Oh, um, well, dissipates then, I guess. So, oh, two. I was hoping it was going to finish him off then, but just a little bit under. Although the cards in general aren't looking too bad right now, I'm not too worried about thorns or poison. Die, die, die. Alright, so onto the Tigress, I guess. We're not doing the best on health. It does worry me a little. Let's see how they handle my blade. It's a very agile creature that's good at avoiding your attacks and starts before you do. Uh, we'll keep the retaliate then, I guess. Ha ha! So we'll dodge, see what we get, and improvise. And we'll just throw two lots of attacks up. And a block. Okay, so I think now we need to put our defense up. We'll pump up for the Tigers to drop a card. Two APs left. Let's attack and pull out some more APs, then see what we get by two cards. Raven. Nice. Hmm. So if we use Concentrate, we can heal a little. At this point, it's probably be worth me pulling out my block. Do I need the AP? I could do the AP. So let's do the basic ones first. And we'll defend. Nice. One more hit. Ah. Oh. So, let's find coins. It's always nice to get money. Five. Front the defense and crit him. Or her, should I say. Oh, right. So, oh, what's that? Enough. While in your hand, end the enemy's turn and draw two cards if six or more cards have been played. While in your hand, end the enemy's turn and draw two cards if six or more cards have been played. Well, give it a go. Sounds interesting. Uh, let's pop over to the treasure. Um, we can gain a card or gain 20 gold. We'll gain a card. Shiny. So, thorns. The next three turns, the enemy loses one HP for each damage you block. Draw a card or shrug it off. Uh, thorns will actually stack really nicely with our buff on our chest anyway. So, yeah, we'll go for you. Uh, oh, and a captain. And I think I'll upgrade a card. Do I put power strike up to 15? It's a hell of a step up. We'll do it. Over to the altar. You find an ancient carved stone altar covered in runes that say the harbinger brings death and decay. You run your fingers through the rune and the stone crackles with power. You may investigate the altar by far. Uh, the stone altar hums with power. If you claim its gift, you gain a random elemental resistance. That bloody rubbish. Again. No. Not interested. Uh, not worried about the campfire just right now. We could pop to the merchant. I do have enough to be able to discard a card if I want to upgrade a card. If I want. Let's pop to the campfire simply to see what opens up below it. So we'll come back later. Oh, a steel burn. So... Greed is good. It captures the very essence of the evolutionary spirit. So, my friend, would you like this magic bag of gold?
Gain three to five gold whenever you play this card. Banish this card and draw a card. So it's a, a draw, a card drawer, or we get twenty XP. We'll go for the gold. Why not? Uh, trap at level eight is probably the best way to go. Let's see what it has to offer. Let's see how they handle my blade. That's all right, I guess. Uh, we've got enough to play everything anyway. Ready my blade. Trap hits knight for 12 damage. That's fine. Want to go hand the enemy's turn. End the enemy's turn and draw two cards if six or more cards have been played. So it just ended it on Bloodthirsty. But did Bloodthirsty hit me? I have no idea. It doesn't matter now, anyway. So. 4 AP. Let's us use Thunderslam, Attack, and Raven. You can dodge this. Right, so we'll remove a card. 3 AP. We shall improvise for the extra, uh, extra AP. Charge up, because we don't know what we're going to get for the two cards. So that's 17 on 46. It's not a lot, really. So let's defend. And we've got 8 block. Health is doing okay. We'll, we'll just do two attacks. Right. So let's draw. Okay. We'll dodge to see what other card we get. Defend. We'll get the bag of coal for n another. Yeah. Another defense. All right. So let's throw our defense up. That's all we need. Nothing too silly. Yeah. Well. Here's hoping. Oh, okay. See if you can dodge this. Why not? You win. Boom. That was all, that was all right. We've lost about just under a, th a third of our energy there, or our health. Do I want to be taking on another trap? They're a bit of a pain. Might be worth having a look, I suppose. Let's do this. Alright, so um, we can throw the thorn straight away and some defense. So, yeah, we'll start. So, we'll defend first, then thorns. If we throw up more block, we should be defensive. They're all ranged. That's not helping me at all. So dissipate. Take a card off him. And hit for Thunderstorm, I guess. See if you can dodge this. Yeah, we can play it all. See if you can dodge this. Any magic at all? Trap? And again? Huh? Just for good measure? No? Right. Charging up. Why not? Let's collect the money. I don't. I don't think we're in a, a nasty place to be right now. It'd be nice to have a little bit more health, but huh? beggars and choosers and all that. Kaka. Nice. Um, we can... Ooh, what's that? Deadly gas. Deal 12 pure damage to the enemy. If this card is discarded by a card's effect, deal 30 pure damage to the enemy. Wow. That's really good. We'll take that. Uh, let's... Well, we've got full health again. Let's go to the undead barb. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, retaliate and defense. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Why not? Oh, and again. Yeah, we got the 
poison on us. So money's damage. Did he just empty our hand? That sucks. I need Raven. Bring out Raven right now. Bring out Raven right now. Uh. How can we overkill him the most? Cheeky. Cheeky. I didn't think that was going to be a hard battle, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's time to visit that campfire. So let's camp. Alcohol! You may delete a card from your deck when claiming rewards. Nice. And an action point. I'm going to leave it there. I'm quite happy with those. That's a big hand. That is a big hand. What do we want to get rid of? What aren't we enjoying? What aren't we enjoying? Um, I think I might get rid of an improvise. We're getting to the point now where AP isn't as... But then again, you do get the block factor on that as well. Pummel's good for removing cards. Power strike's maxed up. Do I get rid of another attack? I think I might get rid of another attack. Yeah, the deck's looking very big. That's that's my problem with that. And let's take on the undead mage. Let's see how they handle my blade. Who draws a card each time he plays a mana card? Okay, right. Well, we've got dissipate straight off, which is good. So we'll keep you. So let's draw a card. What's being offered? Defense. And the two heavy hitters. Why not? I might look at upgrading that dissipate next. I think that's pretty good. Now let's throw up Thorns and Defense. Next, Dissipate. Awesome. Doesn't matter which one of those I use. And a Retaliate. We're covered for any situation. Magic Echo, what's that? What's that? Things happened. Magic Echo. Uh, again, temporary copy and mana equal to the cost of the next 1x Magic cards played. Oh, that's all right. Uh, so let us Power Strike. And attack, and then overkill. That's Bloody smart. mages. Alright, so we're on to the undead barbarian. Let's see how they handle my blade. His axe allows him to deal a lot of damage. Uh, uh, let's mulligan. Yeah, that's alright. So let us. Thorns into defend. 3 AP. Into deadly gas, we'll dodge and we'll hit. I don't quite understand the enough card. I'll be the first to, to, to admit that. One of your hand, end the enemy's turn and draw two cards if six or more cards have been played. Is that in one go? Is that what that means? Maybe that's not as useful as I thought it would be. Uh, well, we can thunder stab. And we might as well use the raven, I think. Why not? Come on, go for that six. Nice. Right, so uh, we shall now defend. Let's get our... Do I want the card or should we go for damage? No, card will do. That's good. We'll pull up to make him lose a card. If I charge up and that take 4 AP and 1 card. Oh, nice bag of gold. Boom indeed. And we've leveled up. So we can hold 5 cards now. We've got a second merchant. Let's go to the first merchant. What you got? How much is it to upgrade? 60. Well, let's upgrade the other Dissipate. That's what I said I'd do. And I can afford to upgrade again. Let's have a look at his wares first. Scrying. Choose Magic Attack or Support. Draw three cards and discard all cards in your hand that are not of the chosen type. Card Sieve. 
Draw two cards and choose one card. Yeah. Deadly gas. We got one of them. I'm quite happy just to have the one, I think. Uh, 60 gold for the mace. Frost damage per attack and a thunder stamp. That's not bad. How much is that? 60. Ooh. Uh, starting AP and Venom Strike. HP on that. Uh, one starting AP. It's tempting. How else we got? Raven Hunter Amulet. A HP for mo potion drop. Starting mana and gold per battle. That four gold per battle. Retaliate and dodge. Uh, I'm not entirely convinced to be fair. Let's have a look at the other merchant. So he's got Thundershock. That's a lot of mana it needs. Uh, we could take another Thorns. Yeah, what has he got? Two physical damage versus full HP. Uh, five damage per attack and dexterity. Not really good. Uh, poison resist. Ooh. And defend one. Or oh, we've got potion drop chance of five damage. They're all a bit rubbish. They're all a bit rubbish. We'll carry on for the time being. Let's do this. Hello, Dead Ranger. Good at dodging and landing critical hits and always starts before you. We do have a dissipate. Yeah, we'll keep those. Fine. So let us dodge four AP. We'll charge with one card. Oh, and we use both understands and attack. Nice. Throw out some magic, damn it. So we'll grab our monies. We'll defend Do I defend high? No, we'll defend low. See what we get. Average. Uh, so let's power strike and hit him there. Hopefully def the defense will be enough. Yes. Starting to get knack of this game, I am. All right, so who next? Mercenary for level 8? Why not? Let's see how they handle my blade. Who has exactly the same deck as I do. Oh, dear. Right, so... Not a bad start. We'll get the gold. We'll get the gold. 4 AP. Let's grab two cards and thunder stuff. Come on, place. Have a fluent enough deck to play six. Keep going. Bastard. Right, so uh, we will dodge, see what we get. Raven. Come on, an attack. Okay, hold on to them, I guess. Right, his Raven hit for 22. As is 25 now. So we'll throw out the defences, I guess. Ooh, deadly gas. Not a bad one. There's enough covering us here. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Enough! His pummel removed my enough. Right, so. 60 plus... Shields. Oh dear. Uh, I think we might have to use our buffs here. Let's use that first. So defend up. Let's get the block up. And oh, you shit kicker! Right. So I will block again and then attack. I hope for the best. Eighteen health. So defend. Deadly gas. Oh, thank God. I was worried. I was worried. Uh, we're not doing good at all. Let's uh, pop to the merchant again. I have to buy some health. I mean, we could get him to restock. See, I can't wear any of this now. That's my only problem. Um, let's heal a couple. Deadly gas. Does the other guy 
get to be restocked for five gold or has that gone up as well? It's a different person. Oh, never mind. Um, we, we, we might be all right. We'll see, I guess. Everyone, be careful. Uh, that's not a bad hand. Let's get the gold up and throw up the heels as best we can. I'm just going to go for blocks now. Endurance reduces all physical damage taken by five until the start of your next turn. You can dodge this. There's nothing on him. Right, so. Let's do Thunderslam. Deadly Gas. You can dodge this. 2 AP. Let's throw a dodge and see what comes out of it. Improvise, right, so. Dodge this. If we do... Mm, I played that wrong. We'll do block. Penitence. Shuffle a penance card into the enemy's deck, and then the enemy suffers night five. Alright. 33. Die by Raven. Die by Raven. One. So, Tiger Warrior. Would that be enough to throw us over the level? It will. We should get full health off that then if Let's we can pull this off. Uh, warriors are not going to have any magic, are they? That's Mulligan. So, we will start with Defend with thorns 2 AP let's improvise for 3 AP defend Ready again see what we get oh, okay and thunder slam dodged cheeky raw uh, we'll lose the coins and we'll lose the attack I'm hoping he has magic or not so you, for you, to draw, to dodge, never dissipate. This could be bad. Please have magic. Please have magic. 27 on the raven. If we pummel, that make it 28. It's getting close. Well, I figure if we're going to die, let's die rich. So, I have one of you. 4 AP. Let's grab the two cards. We'll deadly gas him. Defend, because it's free. Throw down the AP. That'll do. Ooh. Okay, so let's find some coins and have a look. See what we get here. Uh, concentrate. We've got 20 health to 24. How hard do we hit him? Only 10. So we need to pull something big out now. Or else we're going to die. Or I could heal. I don't think it's going to make much difference though. This, this health. We'll draw. Oh, lightning damage to the enemy. Does it kill it? Does it kill it? One. Oh, God. So as long as it does one physical damage to us, he'll die. Come on. Woo. Right. Leveled up as well. So what do we have? Rending hit. Deal three physical damage and the enemy suffers weakened two. Bulwark, you gain physical immunity until the start of your next turn. That's quite high on AP, though. That's my only problem with that. Uh, AP is a bit of an issue. Let's put our AP up. And get on with the monitor, I guess. I don't think I want to go back and buy anything off the merchants. Let's see how they handle my blade. You encounter a minor tour. Nothing special about this guy. Uh, we've got Deadly Gas, Improvised, Defend, Charge Up, and Raven. That's Mulligan. Mm, that's all right. I could do with a defense card. 
any defense card whatsoever. Really? Ah, there we go. Right, so you. Three AP left. So we shall pop up. Dead of gas. Uh, uh, is it really worth wasting thorns? It, is, it does last for three turns, though, doesn't it? So, yeah. You can dodge Why not? Why not? He's got a lot of health. A lot of health. That dodge worked out well for us, though. Uh, so, Raven's already up to 23. Uh, there's only five cards in the Monitor's hand, though. So, it won't go much higher. If we Thunder Slam, he'll lose one. Plus 24. If we defend. And again. Power Strike and Raven, I guess. Looks like that hurt. Yeah, why not? Body Slam! You know what? We're going to be charged on the next one. So let's put up the, the uh, shields and grab another card. So if we uh, 10 AP, we can play everything here, can't we? Quite happily. So let's put up more block. Pummel here. Do I attack for four or do I have more block? I think we'll go for more block. It's as good as putting health on, isn't it? Except it's a health which bites you twice in the ass. Well, he did have a health potion, though. Cheeky. So, give me monies. Defend for three. Pummel. And we'll hold on to the raven. Yeah, that shielding didn't last very long. Let's, let's hit him with thorns. Bring the defense up. We'll get, yeah. grab two cards. Another defense. Another dodge. We need to bring our AP up. Thunder stab him. Do I finish on a power strike? I don't think I want the Raven just yet. It'll be worth more on the next round of the four. Thirty-one. Let's kill him with a raven. Boom. Now, do I want to go back to the merchants? Probably not. Hooray! Level up. Nice. I have no idea where I'm going to put this in. Uh, we we've done the wizard. I mean, we could start working on the on the the people down here. Unlocks the bard two talent. Receive when after completing a level. Take an extra turn with hand size reduced by two. Unlocks the thief two talent for steel burn after completing a level. Thing is, all of these are people you need to actually come across. It's you know at least with the ones at the top, it, it's stuff which affects you as you play. Uh, that's the annoying part. I mean, the other thing is, I suppose I could do up my ranger. Or my cleric. Cleric's the next person I'm playing with. I suppose that makes sense. Because it does, it won't affect the knight now. I tell you, we'll, we'll work on the cleric. There's more chance of us actually completing the bloody game if we do that. So re replace an improvised card with a magic shield, blocks damage, or replace an improvised card with a holy light, gains block and it injures undead. Heals HP, gains block and injures undead. Hmm. Very blessed. Are we done? Do we have another? Do we have another one? No, we don't. There we go. So, what did we get? Uh, we got poison clear on turn end and flame strike. Yeah, it's not not with this guy. We need we need a defense. Uh, poison is this common? Bloody common. Right, so that's you done. And uh, it looks like number three is going to be onto the Dead Forest. Or the Quagmire Swamp. Green Dragons. Uh, we'll go to Dead Forest, I think. We, we do alright against spiders generally. Here's hoping it continues. 
My blade is ready. Let's do this. Prepare for the final battle. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Well, let's. I don't want to use the healers up straight away. I think we're going to need them on this level. Everyone, be careful. So you encounter an undead cleric. Uh, that's not a bad hand. We'll keep you. So deadly gas. Thunder slam. Three AP. Let's see what we get. Uh, we'll pull up the AP points. Uh, never retaliate. Fine. Right. So, let's thunder slam him. Yo, you bastard. Let's dodge. Defend. Defend. Fine coins. One AP left. Hit him. Soul Sunder. Now, that's made my Raven very powerful. Uh, is there anything we can do to actually bring him down any more? If we defend and draw there, no is the answer to that. But we do have use of everything else. So, more block. And more birds! More birds. Penance. Nice, thank you. Got him. Serenity. Do these all penance cards in your deck or discard pile? Recover 5 HP and deal 5 pure damage for each penance card. Delete it. Ah, oh, sucks to be you. Uh, we will, however, pull our dodge up. We have no blockage at all. So, we'll pull up both of ours. All of ours? Do I do all of ours? Let's thunder slam him. Charge up for one card and four AP. And we'll defend Pummel and pull the Raven down. So, one more physical attack. One big physical attack, please. Not big enough. That's a hell of a lot of cards. Wow. Alright, well, we'll just hit you hard. Boom. And we've leveled up. Uh, we will upgrade a card. And we shall upgrade another defense card. Oh, two merchants. Um, well, we're doing all right. Let's go to the Rhino Champion. Everyone, be careful. It's tough. Hide resists physical damage, and it regenerates HP each turn. Mm. Yeah, I don't like these guys. Well, let's um, let's start. So we'll grab a card first. Get another card. Let's charge for two cards. We'll defend for two. And improvise for AP. Throw out the deadly gas. Hmm. Do I improvise now or shall I hold on to it? Let's thunder slam. It's going to be a long game. Wow, this guy hits hard. Really hard. Okay, with all that in mind then, let us... Improvise for a little bit of block and put thorns on. We'll pummel him so he's got less to choose from. And then just throw the, throw the bird at him again, I guess. Have the bird! Right, so. Thorns is active. So let us find the coins. Defend. We can afford to do everything. Nice. Hmm. I'm not comfortable with this. Not comfortable at all. He's hitting very, very hard. 
and healing very hard, which is the annoying part. Those are some mighty, mighty hits. Mighty, mighty, mighty hits. Uh, we will... Just hope to God it's enough, I guess. So we'll block. Okay, take you down, sir. Take you down, sir. And let's throw another card in there. Get ready for this. No AP left. So let's heal. Do I put the block on? Might as well, I suppose. That was lucky. That was lucky. Right, so. He's only got five health. We're good. We're good. We're good. Down you go. Down you go. <sighs> right, so. Altar. You find an ancient carved stone altar covered in the runes that say, The Harmonger is strong as a lion. You run your fingers through the rune and the stone crackles with power. You may investigate the altar to see what blessing it offers. So, if you claim it's gift, you gain two level three pure strike cards, but your companion abilities have their cooldowns increased by two. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, so... Oh, Ironborn. I created an improved mana source from these magical crystal shards I found in this valley. Would you like some? Uh, gain five mana and one random effect. The enemy suffers ignite five, poison four, weaken three. And, a, and draw a card. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm not happy with the health, so let's go to our first healer. Hello. And heal up. Nice. Uh, Golem level 11. Sounds tasty. Let's see how they handle my blade. It's immune to lightning and poison attacks, and its stone skin resists physical blows as well. So, how do you kill it then? Right, so, let's start the battle. Uh, we will deadly gas it. Pummel it. We'll throw the thorns up. Oh, dodge. We'll throw the dodge on. And we'll throw on the block. Simply so we get the extra hit points on it. So. So, so, so. I think we're probably best defending. Let's find coins first. So we'll defend... Can I afford both? I can't. So we'll do one Thunder Slam and a Power Strike. This is fairly even. And let's us... This is going to be a big AP round. So we'll improvise for 3 AP. Use Thunder Slam and Pure Strike and Attack. Any magic off you would be fantastic. So, mana shards. Why not? What to give him? Ignite five. Fire, five fire damage at the start of each turn, reduced by one each turn. I can live with that. Uh, we will pure strike him. Four AP. Let's defend. We'll charge up for one card and four AP. Defend again. Bag of gold. 16, 3 AP. We will draw. Defend Ready again. 2 AP. Power strike. And hold on to that, I guess. That was bad. I should have used the Raven before. I didn't think this one would be as hard, but he's hitting pretty damn hard. Uh, I think we can finish him off. Ready my blade. Wow. Or not. Finish there. Nice. I think we're okay. The hunt was worth the price. Right, so it looks like we have to use our last healer now. This is not good. This is not good. 
And we need something easy. A red dragon? We've taken on the other coloured dragons this time around. Let's, let's try a red dragon. Flame, maybe? Do this. Each time you play a card, you suffer fire damage. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it's a mulligan. Fine. We'll bag of gold. Fire damage. Defend. Yeah. Fire damage. Dodge. Fire damage. Hmm. Just the one. Right. So. Let's draw a card. So you're not useful. We are going to improvise to make sure we can play everything here. It just eats through our, uh, our defense cards. This is ridiculous. Uh, we shall get rid of improvise and attack. So let's put the defense up. Can we play them all? We can. Nice. Okay, so if we... Deadly gassing. Thunder slamming. Oh. Pummel? Pure strike! There we go. We'll give him the money card. Ten. Oh dear. Um, right, so. There's not a lot I can do here. We're going to defend, defend, improvise for block, concentrate for heal, dodge, defend, 1 AP. Uh, we do have thorns. Does thorns stack? I don't think it does, does it? So we'll defend again. Ah, you bastard. You've been defeated. You have two restarts remaining. You can either try again from the start of this level or give up this character and gain a fame bonus. Uh, again, it's another long episode. I think we've had a good run with the knight. It's not my most favourite of classes, so we'll end it there. So, give up. More fame for me and a level up. So, that is, or could be, the cleric all the way pull up. Unlock all of the clerics... Tier 3 cards, Soul Sunder and Divine Blessings. Clerics can now play Penance cards to recover 2 HP and gain 1 mana. That's pretty good. We'll take that so we have a nice fluent run on the next episode. Select your and with that, we will be playing with the good old Cleric next time around. I'm not a fan of the Cleric again, much like the Knight. It's more of a defensive and healy type of character than it is straight out and out offensive the thing i like about the rogue and the ranger which, which is why i'm saving the ranger till last is uh, you get a lot of card draw and you can get really good combos going if you've got the ap if you're lucky enough to have the ap uh, the cleric's a little bit more slower a bit like the knight a bit more precise in your card draw and play so hopefully with all the upgrades we've got with the cleric it should mean that we should get at least to the second boss hopefully further than that if i complete the game with the cleric awesome but I guess we'll see you next time around. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.